At least it's turning into a beautiful day. Catherine Zeta-Jones is a British actress who has built a brilliant career in Hollywood and starred in almost 50 films. She has an Oscar and Golden Globe nomination to her credit. She was also awarded the Order of the British Empire for her work in cinema from the hands of Charles himself. Our today's video is dedicated to this gorgeous and strong woman. How Catherine Zeta-Jones Lives and How Much She Earns Catherine Zeta-Jones was born in Wales on September 25, 1969. The prefix Zeta is not part of her surname. It was originally her second name, given in honor of her maternal grandmother. According to family legend, the mother of that grandmother arrived in the UK from Ireland on a ship called Zeta and named her daughter after it. When the girl started her acting career, she decided to include her middle name in her stage name in order to stand out from other Catherine Jones. Her father, David James Jones, a Welsh descendant, worked in a bakery as a baker and a cashier to feed his large family. Aside from little Catherine, they had two sons. The family was poor. They lived in a low-income neighborhood in the coastal Welsh town of Swansea. Mother Patricia was a seamstress who helped them make ends meet. This lasted until the 80s when the family suddenly became wealthy. The parents bought a lottery ticket, which brought them 100,000 pounds, which allowed them to not only buy their own pastry shop and a decent house in a good area of Swansea, but also to pay for a dance studio for their daughter, which she dreamed of. It should be noted that no one in the family except Catherine was interested in art. At a very young age, she was on the brink of death because of illness. That's why she was raised like a princess, surrounded by attention. By the way, the little scar on her neck was left as a result of the tracheal surgery that saved her life. However, the girl didn't grow up spoiled, striking others with her discipline. At the age of four, Catherine danced on holidays and sang in the choir at the local church, where everyone who saw her predicted a great acting future for her. From the age of seven, she began to engage in choreography with full dedication, making herself a strict schedule for the whole week. Three years later, Jones was already shining on the stage of the City Theatre, and after another four years, she managed to pass the casting for the production of The Pajama Game. This was her first serious role. After the tour was over, the young actress left school without obtaining O-levels and went to London. There, she stormed all kinds of castings, not missing a single opportunity to make it to the big screen. During this period, she had a passionate relationship with the famous TV presenter John Leslie. Catherine was so carried away by the charming Scotsman that she planned to spend her whole life with him. Alas, his personality turned out to be too difficult. The future star suffered from fits of jealousy from her partner, which eventually led to a breakup. As for her acting, at first Catherine's catch was small. She was chosen only as the second understudy to the lead actress of the musical 42nd Street. The year 1990 was more successful for her as she was cast for the role of Scheherazade in the film 1001 Nights. The young, talented beauty was immediately noticed, and a year later she got a role in the series The Darling Buds of May. Critics and British viewers were delighted, and very soon, Catherine headed off to conquer Hollywood. She immediately had a chance to play in the episode of George Lucas's television series, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, which boosted her career in Hollywood. Legend has it that her role of dancer Maya impressed Steven Spielberg so much that he advised to invite her to the role of Zorro's beloved. According to another story, Spielberg noticed the actress while watching the miniseries Titanic, which was released in 1996. In the meantime, Catherine starred in a number of TV movies, including Christopher Columbus, The Discovery, Splitting Heirs, The Return of the Native, and Catherine the Great, as well as the miniseries The Cinder Path. They were followed by the comedy drama Blue Juice and the superhero movie The Phantom, though they were not very popular with the audience. 
During the same period, the actress was offered to play the role of Trinity in the cult classic movie The Matrix, but she refused. In the mid-90s, the girl was in a relationship with the Scottish actor Angus McBodian. They were even engaged, but they broke up before the wedding. In 1998, the fast-paced action film The Mask of Zorro stormed onto the screens. The shooting was also extremely intense and was accompanied by a lot of curious details and events. The role of Elena could go to Penelope Cruz, Swedish actress Isabella Skorupko, or passionate singer Shakira. But it was Catherine who got lucky. In order to fit into the role perfectly, the actress, as she usually does, eagerly began to learn disciplines useful for the filming. Horse riding, fencing, dancing, Spanish. She was particularly successful in learning the latter. So much so that people who didn't know her biography could swear that she was a real Spaniard. The film was a resounding success, earning $250 million at the box office with a budget of $95 million, and also scored two Oscar and Golden Globe nominations. Would you care to try something more uh, robust, or do you feel unequal to the task? No, on the contrary, Don Alejandro. I think only of your distaste for perspiration. <laughs> In the same year, another small event happened that affected the rest of Zeta Jones's life. The actress made an unforgettable impression on the Hollywood titan Michael Douglas, so much so that he immediately wanted her to become the mother of his children. So, as soon as he could, he started looking for a way to meet her. The first conversation happened during a festival in France and did not impress the actress. The experienced seducer Douglas played his trump cards right away, dumping his plans on her. But Catherine just laughed it off. But the actor had no plans to give up. He showered the girl with gifts, flowers, and she didn't even notice how she began to talk to him for hours on the phone and also to dream of watching movies with him and cooking delicious dinners. From that moment on, persistent courtship turned into a traditional relationship. In 1999, Catherine was featured in the films The Haunting and Entrapment. The latter is called one of the best crime films. It made a real splash in the industry. The main male role of an imposing thief was played by Sean Connery. Zeta Jones kept up with her legendary partner and gave her best on the set. So, she performed a dangerous stunt, jumping from a ceiling beam onto a table while doing a backflip. The film earned $212 million at the box office with a relatively small budget and was very popular with the audience. Fans especially note the scene of Catherine passing through a grid of laser beams in which she shows the wonders of plasticity and grace. Also noteworthy are the shots when Connery's character comes to interrogate Catherine. She was lying under just a white sheet, and at this moment, she is actually completely naked. I called you at 4.30 this morning. I was home in bed. You didn't pick up. I didn't want to pick up. You had company. He came in the window. How romantic. I think that's how he got in. The year 2000 was marked by a landmark event for Catherine and Michael, who learned that they would become parents. On New Year's Eve 2000, he proposed to his beloved and presented an antique ring worth $1 million. However, the purest 10 karat diamond and Michael's passionate desire to marry his beloved as soon as possible were somewhat overshadowed by the fact that the actor was still legally married. To solve this problem, the groom needed to give his ex a huge payoff of $45 million, and according to other sources, $60 million. In August, the Douglas couple had a son, whom they named Dylan. And in November of the same year, they had a luxurious wedding worth $1.5 million. The celebration took place at the famous Plaza Hotel in New York, and the bride's dress alone cost $250,000. The star's guests, including Tom Hanks, Brad Pitt, Sharon Stone, Steven Spielberg, Jennifer Aniston had fun and congratulated the newlyweds. Since Catherine and Michael understood the absurdity of trying to hide from the press on such a day, they pulled a trick and sold the rights to cover the event to the British magazine OK. The journalists were very interested in the couple, largely because of the large age difference. A fun fact is that the couple were born on the same day with a difference of 25 years. Few people believe that something could come out of this relationship, but as life has shown, the marriage of two stars turned out to be extremely strong, although they had to go through a lot. 
Catherine herself calls the secrets of a successful marriage a sense of humor and respect. Although apparently the marriage contract, which the actress insisted on before answering the cherished yes, played a significant role. According to its terms, in case of infidelity, Michael is obliged to pay his wife a decent amount for each year of living together. The exact figure is unknown, but the range is between 1 million and 3 million. In 2000, the musical drama High Fidelity and the thriller Traffic were released, in which the actress starred while pregnant with her son. For this work, Catherine received a fee of 3 million and a Golden Globe nomination. I'm European. I say that to my to my doctor. I'm European. I'm allowed to drink red wine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my doctor said it was fine when I was pregnant. A glass a week. After a my of amnio. Week. After my mm -hmm. amnio, he said, "Okay, now you can go and have a glass of red wine." Mm -hmm. You're like, I, need I had it. two. <laughs> in 2001, Zeta Jones appeared in the movie America's Sweethearts. By that time, Catherine's revenue was growing rapidly and amounted to five million. But the real triumph for Catherine was the adaptation of the Broadway musical Chicago. It should be noted that the plot of the drama is based on real events that took place in the US in the early 20th century. The first attempt at a film adaptation was made by Miramax back in 1994, and before that, the rights of the production were bought by director Bob Fosse. According to his idea, the main roles were to be played by Lisa Minnelli, Golden Hawn, and Frank Sinatra. But due to the death of Foss, the project was abandoned. The director of the 2002 film, Rob Marshall, considered Charlize Theron, Madonna, Angelina Jolie, and Britney Spears for the leading female roles. And that's not the whole list. When it came to Zeta Jones, she was immediately offered the role of Roxy Hart. But the actress wanted to play Velma Kelly. She liked the song All That Jazz so much that she was happy to sacrifice both the main role and her gorgeous curls, which she cut to a neat bob with perfectly straight bangs. She did it on purpose so that the long hair falling over her face would not allow the audience to doubt that she performs all the dance routines in the film on her own. Then, by the way, the actress said that working in a musical was almost as painful and exciting at the same time as having a baby. No, 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 I, I danced in the chorus. Oh, well, that was before I met my husband, Amos. Look, honey, you want some advice? Here it is, direct from me to you. Keep your paws off my underwear, okay? Her Velma Kelly was loved not only by ordinary viewers, but also by professionals. For the role, the actress received a fee of $8 million, a nomination for a Golden Globe Award, and was also awarded an Oscar. The beauty arrived at the ceremony in a gorgeous black dress that did not conceal her rounded belly. The ceremony took place on the eve of her second childbirth. In 2003, the couple had a daughter, Karis Zedman. In the same year, two movies starring Zeta Jones appeared on the screens at once. These are the animated film Sinbad, Legend of the Seven Seas, in which she voiced one of the main characters and the romantic comedy Intolerable Cruelty. 2004 brought her work on the memorable films The Terminal and Ocean's 12. The French police think he's better than Lamarck. Well, he is French. Let me give you some advice. Find out how you offended him, apologize, beg for mercy. The following year, a sequel to the film about the dashing vigilante was released. Catherine received 10 million for The Legend of Zorro. But all in all, the film made a strange impression. It received negative reviews, although it earned 142 million at the box office. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe I fell for it. Husband promises to quit, gullible wife believes him. How could I be so stupid? In 2007, two more films were released. The supernatural romance film Death Defying Acts and the romantic comedy drama No Reservations. In fact, this was a remake of the German film Mostly Martha, which was reworked by the not-too-famous director Scott Hicks. But alas, it was not a masterpiece. Although the actress tried very hard and even worked incognito as a waitress in an Italian restaurant where visitors marveled at the resemblance of the employee to the celebrity. Nick is an expert. I know nothing about him. I have no idea Give what me some credit. He was a sous chef at El Treviso. Italian? You bring a yes. sous chef from an Italian restaurant and I'm the one in therapy? 
This was followed by another obscure film, The Rebound, which was shot in New York, Istanbul, and Paris. The hard work and childbirth left a mark on the actress, and soon Catherine began to show symptoms of bipolar affective disorder. This disorder is described by alternating phases of heightened activity and depression and significantly impairs one's life. Her star spouse was beginning to grow weary of this state of affairs, but then, like a thunderbolt from a clear sky, the news of his own illness came. In 2010, doctors diagnosed Michael with a terrible illness, laryngeal cancer. All this happened while Douglas's first son, Cameron, was arrested charged with drug trafficking and sentenced to five years in prison. Here, Catherine immediately switched and devoted all her energy to help her beloved spouse. A year later, Michael Douglas publicly announced that he had defeated cancer and returned to filming. Catherine, too, plunged into the familiar depths of cinema. In two years, she managed to appear in six films, Lay the Favorite, Rock of Ages, Playing for Keeps, Broken City, Side Effects, and Red 2. How are things? Y yeah, Frank, how are things? Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> this is Katya. Yeah, hi. I need to speak to you. And at that moment, the actress's illness re-emerged in her and Michael's life with renewed vigor. This time, Douglas lost his nerve. He said that because of the depression that his wife was prone to, it was impossible to live with her, after which the couple announced their separation and the beginning of the divorce process. Michael also hinted that his wife was addicted to hard liquor because of her condition. However, three months later, the couple reunited. As reported, Zeta Jones underwent a course of intensive therapy, and she did get better. She resumed her acting career and appeared in the series Queen America, Feud, and Prodigal Son, as well as the films Dad's Army and Cocaine Godmother. In 2022, Catherine hit a new moment of stardom. In the Netflix series Wednesday, which became a worldwide hit, the actress played the role of Morticia Adams, the mother of an unusual and daring girl protagonist. What is this, a kidnapping? Would you like that? Because I think I'm up to it. <laughs> you do move me. I don't know why, but you do move me. In unusual places. Fans and critics who initially doubted this casting decision in the end agree that the actress's performance is worthy of praise. The duet of Catherine and the Puerto Rican actor Luis Guzman, who played her husband in the series, was particularly delightful. Despite a significant break in work and the troubles, Catherine has remained in good shape. Now, viewers can see her in the Disney series National Treasure Edge of History. It should be noted that the performance of the actress has always been generously paid. Now, Catherine Zeta-Jones, once a poor girl from the outskirts of Swansea, is a very rich lady. Her fortune is estimated at $150 million, and it's not just income from filming. It is reported that one second of the actress's advertising time costs about 4,000 euros. Over the years, she starred in advertisements for Elizabeth Arden Cosmetics, the Visa payment system, and Alfa Romeo Car. A two-year contract with the mobile operator T-Mobile brought the actress 20 million, and in 2019, she was seen in a Fendi commercial where she starred with her daughter. A couple of years ago, Zeta Jones launched her own line of shoes in collaboration with the Butterfly Twist brand, known for its eco-friendly approach to production. In addition to the shoe collection, Catherine produces makeup, sportswear, and household goods under her own brand, Casa Zeta Jones. Over the years of marriage, Zeta Jones and Douglas have accumulated a high-end real estate portfolio. The star couple has a spacious apartment in New York with a view of Central Park, which they recently decided to sell. At first, the price was set at $21.5 million, but at the beginning of 2022, the couple decided to lower it to $19.5 million. Potential buyers will get a luxury penthouse with four bedrooms, a spacious living room, and a dressing room made in classic style. Apparently, in 2019, the family was going to rotate the property. They sold 12 acres of land in Westchester County, New York, which they bought in 2015 for $11 million, and managed to double the price. In the same year, they purchased a house in the same state worth $4.5 million. 
Also in 2019, an English-style villa in Bermuda worth $10.6 million was put up for sale, but in the end, the sale didn't take place, and the lot was withdrawn from auction. Catherine and Michael spent a lot of time in the house after the wedding, so their children didn't even suspect at first that they were growing up in a family of Hollywood celebrities. The couple has a Snow White villa hidden in lush greenery in Spanish Majorca, which in the 19th century attracted the European nobility. The 10-bedroom house is decorated with great love, its design is tasteful and discreetly luxurious. Many of the interior decorations and furniture were chosen directly by the owners. The estate is quite large, totaling about 10,000 square feet. There is a formal dining room, several living rooms decorated with antiques, which Douglas is very passionate about. The estimated cost of this property is $33 million, but since Michael's ex-wife remains the co-owner of the property, it cannot be sold. The Hollywood Diva owns a black Lexus SUV worth $130,000, which she drives in everyday life. Douglas and Zeta Jones were once spotted driving around Wales in a used Jaguar. As it turned out later, the couple arrived in the actress's hometown to participate in a golf competition. Catherine Zeta-Jones is a woman who impresses not only with her beauty, but also with her stunning determination. No matter what happens, she does not give up and looks into the face of any life circumstances, boldly challenging them. She is not afraid of experiments or difficult tasks. The musical Cleo will be released soon, in which the actress will play the fatal Egyptian queen Cleopatra. What movie with this actress do you like the most? Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Unfortunate that it has to end. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.